hundreds of teachers gathered here at the Commerzdal Sports Stadium in Windhoek in solidarity that they will keep on striking until their demands for better wages and better salaries and better benefits are met by government. The latest situation currently is that the government still undermines that they don't want to see, talk to the teachers. The government still undermines, don't want to disclose what they are busy with. They have now closely and confirmed that they have rally uh, with those that they are claiming to negotiate with, of which those negotiators don't have the mandate anymore of the workers. And as a result of that, the teachers have, uh, as we have put already the labor aid aside, we have also put the court ruling aside that we are determined to continue with the strike until our demands are met. Despite the court order last week Friday that the teachers must return to their classes on Monday morning the 4th of November, they are said they will not and they will keep on camping until the demands are met. Uh, the minister, whoever, whoever, even you, Mindias, I don't know why you're asking about the issues of illegality of the strike. From the day before we started the strike, we knew that the, the strike is illegal. And to us, illegality doesn't hold water now. Because this is an issue that deal with our stomach. And if you want to bring legality while I'm starving, then you are playing. So whoever talk about the illegality of the strike is the person who is just underestimating our intelligence. And we cannot allow it to be underestimated to that extent. So we are very committed to us. Here is the cause of fight. And which fight is legal? There is no fight that is illegal. So what I'm saying is that we are just fighting for our own survival. And whoever wants to join us, must come and join us, who want, want to be against us, remain against us. The calls of the governments, we respect them, but they don't respect us by virtue of refusing even to see us, by virtue of refusing to get a petition to us. Maybe they think that if they refuse to get petitions, we'll demoralize. We will be demoralized. Although the group is peaceful, they were not happy when the NBC arrived at the scene and said that the NBC is biased with their reporting. Let them choose what... NBC, what we don't need you here. You are not needed here. We don't want you here. We leave us in peace. Go. Leave us in peace. We don't need your biased reporting. The nation should be rest assured that we are cognizant of what we are busy with. And we know. And we are ready for the consequences. And as soon as our demands are met, we will know how to deal with the situation there. The atmosphere is calm and no police presence was seen when Nampa News arrived at the scene early this morning. I am Franz Lotteren, reporting for Nampa News, Windhoek.